Well, hello, hello, hello. Here we are, episode 57. Episode 57 of our daily lives. These are the drawing days of Christmas. And we'll uh, we'll get into another one. I'm going to check. I want to see if I'm live on Facebook. I always like to check out. And I want to draw this cool package with this fun ribbon. That'll be a fun one right here. Oh, I'm live. There we go. It's so cool to see it live. Hey, hi, John Kim. How are you? Hey, uh, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. I love this little guy. I love that little uh, North Pole guy right there. This is a drawing I did with my out school class. Hey, hello, YouTube. Hello, showman. Matt the Cat. Hey, Matt the Cat, did you get your package? You probably told me yesterday, but I forget. I forget stuff real fast. Hi, guys. I'm going to wait till I get a YouTube uh, or a Facebook comment, and then I'll start. I want to draw. I want to draw this cool little package right here. Oh, see that? We're going to draw that. Hello, Christmas Eve Eve. Yes, you got it, Matt the Cat. Now, oh, that's right. You, I I forgot to put in the Zathula. Is that right? I'm sorry. I get I got I, I I promised you that big. I have it. I have it down there. I don't know why I forgot it. I, you know, because you bought so many other pieces of art. I had you bought like six pieces. Thank you so much. Matt the Cat, yeah, so I'm gonna I have that Sethula. It's a in fact I'll show everybody. It's an eleven by seventeen. I'll show you a smaller version of it. Uh, oh it's it's cool. It is uh was it Victor Lovecraft? Is that his name who wrote that the, the monster back uh, story back in the twenties? Let me see if I can find it here. These are my art prints I have here. If you guys I have that one. I just sometimes I like to show these. I'm trying to show you the Cthulhu. These are all on my website. You guys can get these if you want. And always say when you when you, if you order one of my art prints, be sure to say you want two for one. I'll give you two prints. I'll give you two for the price of one. I don't know if I already showed you. There's three birds. I'm trying to show you the uh Matt's gonna order more. You know what? Hey, you know, uh, you, if you order the prints anytime in January, just say you want three, I'll give you three prints for the price of one. I just, I love autographing prints. So you just make sure you you make a comment. H.P. Lovecraft. I'm trying to find my, uh, the Zathula. And where is it? These are old ones here. See, I got that one. I already showed you this. Oh, here it is. Nope. Here's that one. Well, this is interesting. There's a snowman fighting the candy cane. I didn't know that was up there. Look at all that. I forgot I had these. There's that. There's I forgot I had this one. Look at these are all buried in here. I gotta show these more often. I'm gonna find the Zathula. This is all to find the Zathula. Oh, this is fun. The birds flying. Penguin tree. Ooh, that's neat. The name in 3D. Do you love that? And then here's Aubrey. These are uh commissions I did. You can order a pencil commission from me. I'm gonna find Zathula. I can't wear it. There's another shark. I don't know if I showed that hammerhead. Well, okay, now this is a now I'm on a I'm on a mission. I know I know I have it in here, up here. Oh my goodness. Oh look at here's the here's the koala. This is crazy. Up oh, look, it's right there. I knew it. I have so many of these. Oh look, I didn't show this one. This is fun. The bunny rabbits. Oh, look at all these. I for, look at all these. I forget I have them up here. Look at here's the this one. That's fun. And then I have the. I don't know if I showed you this one. And then I I just I have some fun with pop art sometimes. I did this one with Star Wars. And then here's the fishies. Um. Here's a kind of a wacky Secret City logo. And I did I show you Zathula yet? I didn't show it to you, right? Did I get it there? Nope. Oh, it's sitting right here. Here. They finally, after all that, there. There's Zathula. John Kim. John Kim. 
John Cam, you are so funny. He always wants me to sing a song. I, uh, I, I just, I just don't have it in me. Ha <laughs> ha! Lauren Brock, hello, Lauren Brock. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you. We're gonna draw that tonight, okay? I, I, this is fun. I forgot about. I had these. These are great examples. See, I've been. I have a new class on OutSchool on OutSchool.com. And I this I have this class. It's usually around three or four in the afternoons. I'm right, and it's uh, starting in January, and it's called How to Draw Your Name in 3D. And it, it and I'm glad I found that because I what I do is I take like here I've had I had the class three times so far this week, and here's what we did: we took the students' names. If you have kids ages six to sixteen, I think you would really really like this. So what we do is we take the first name of uh, the kid. Usually we have about four or five kids in the class, but it's all Zoom. So this was Daylin, and here's Evan. We took their first initial. Now remember, I'm trying to get them inspired to make their name in 3D, something like that, or something like that, to, to work up to that, right? So I, I try to give them these uh, different styles. Now these are from my book, Drawing in 3D. If you pick any letter... Any, any, well, uh, let's say you did use the letter I in this book. This book is really thick here. So the letter I, it's like 300 pages. So you can do a puff cloud letter I. I give five choices. I was going to have 10 choices per alphabet letter, but uh, the book got to be too daunting. It took like almost two and a half years to finish this book. The I chiseled, uh, look at me in the eye. See, there's the uh, shadow eye. Here's the chisel stone eye. Then, it, then I do a hovering. I do a hovering block, and then I do a regular block. So I gave them those five choices. And then a couple of them wanted something like this like person wanted M. Mary wanted a, a tree M. So I made her a tree M. Franklin wanted the puffy M. Then Evan, the shadow. Then we went to this one. Uh, L, this was Lena. And I put all the kids in the class up there singing. And then we had the Puffy M. We just we have so much fun. If you go to outschool.com, if you go to my Facebook page, you can you can click it from there and you get a twenty dollar discount. Just I didn't know that till today. Okay, so there's the E. These are cool. Look at now. This was uh, uh yesterday. Um, uh, Genevieve wanted the flames. I thought that was cool. Isn't that cool? All right. So those are just something I wanted to show you. We had some fun, and I want to do this. I want to do the package tonight. We haven't done that yet together. I've done it uh, with others, but not I haven't done it together. Boy, we're getting down to the one of the final days of draw, drawing days of Christmas, guys. Uh, so today, uh, during my so this week, I got to take this off. It's so hot. It might it's freezing outside. It's like twenty degrees. Downstairs, my house is in the fifties. It's got to be like 53 degrees downstairs. I'm in Houston, Texas. So my house is not built for cold at all. So we really, we just, it's terrible. Upstairs, though, I have all the windows blanketed and everything. So it's all toasty. It's like 74 up here now. So it's just, it's very comfortable. But the uh, um, downstairs, and, my, and Mara was down sleeping downstairs in his room last night. And I thought it would be okay with space heaters, but it was still cold. He had like five blankets. So I I told him t tonight he had to come up into the bedroom, spare bedroom up here. And he's all cozy, got his movie projecting. So now I don't have to worry. We can both be toasty upstairs. Heat rises, right? The science, follow the science. All right, I was going to show you. Um, uh, let me see here. Jack Moore and Patricia Moore, they always have... They always have the, the. They always have the funniest Facebook post. Oh my goodness! They have the little elf thing going on here. Look at I'm I'm talking to you guys and I'm looking at my Facebook page. How's that for staying focused? Um, what else? I was I'm going to show you these pictures. Okay, so what we're going to do? I was going to show you this. Here, let me show you here. All right, so uh, this week I did. My orange camp. I did five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, on my out school art camp. And today, in this orange class, we did it. Was our last day, 
Today in the orange class was the dinosaur. So we did this today. This was our uh, 45 minute class. We did that. Isn't that cool? Now, next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll be doing the orange class and I'll be doing the yellow class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I'll be doing the purple class and I'll be doing the blue class. Ages six to uh, uh, ages nine to 16. Love to have you. Then uh, this afternoon at four o'clock, this was my last day uh, of the um, the purple. This was our last day of the purple class. We did this one. Isn't that fun? So that was ours. We had five different drawing days. That was so cool. That was just so wonderful. What else did I do today? I did this. I don't know if I showed. Did I show you these? This this was yesterday. Uh, that was the orange class yesterday. That was the purple class yesterday. I like to show you these off. This was uh, the day before. This was the purple class, Darling of the Dog. And uh, I think that's it. Yep, these are all. I don't know if you saw my, my Christmas. I sent out a Christmas uh, story tonight on Facebook. And I, fe and I said, follow. I said, uh, ho I hope the chilling penguins are entertaining you. And then I talked about following the candy cane lane. Did anybody see that? Did anybody see the uh, my little Christmas story on Facebook tonight? I sent it out. I hope it was it was it was. I I think it was clever. You know, ha ha ha. But we'll see, right? I don't know. Here, let's see. I uh, uh, Robert Newstead. Hey guys, I, I I'm I'm missing all your comments here. I'm talking talking talking. Here, I got to see. I want to see your comments here. Uh, there we go. Well, well, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, all right. I guess yeah, I missed up my whole screen, so sorry about this. Hold on here, guys. Yeah. I missed up my whole screen. See that, guys? There we go. Well, how do I get... Well, I can't see how to read these. It never rains in candy. Hey, Lauren Brock, how are you? How do I find your prints on your... Uh, you go to my... Uh, you go to... The find way to find my prints right there. Go to go to Mark Kiss and click store. Click art prints, and I got a whole bunch of them. You'll love them. Remember, it's three. You buy one, you get three, okay? I got to see these comments I got behind, and I don't know where my cursor is. Oh, all right. I'm going to figure it Ah, there we go. All right, now I got to go back. Robert Newstead, Bradley said he finished my 30 days or less. That's so wonderful. What book do I recommend next? Bradley, you got to get this one. Bradley, you got to get Half Hour Pencil Power. And you got, you go, oh my gosh, you got to get this one. This is my self-published book. I love this one. This one is so awesome. You have to go through. It takes you, uh, it, it, you can't finish a drawing in 30 seconds. The whole idea is to get you to start the drawing in 30 seconds, okay? You start it, you get, uh, just get it. Once you get going, it'll take you, you know, half hour. But just once you go, just get get the pencil and the paper and draw. This, this book is just, it's so, there's only, in this whole book, this entire book, there's only 12 lessons. But the support material for each of the 12 lessons and the ideas and the, the challenges and the add extra pages and the embellishment pages showing other uh, ideas on taking the drawing, it is, it's a wonderful, wonderful book. It's on Amazon. You can get that, okay? So I recommend that. Now I'm going to look back here. Portland is 26 degrees. Thank you, Michelle. All right, and I'm not singing a Christmas song. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, Robert Newstead. Now, Robert Newstead is going to help me on Sunday. Uh, can we get half hour pencil power? You know what? It's not on my website yet. I have, I do have it in the office. If you want half hour pencil power, uh, send me an email. It's uh, 20 bucks plus the $8 shipping. And it's so cool. Now, this one is uh, not even for sale. This one doesn't even have page numbers in it. This is one of the previews, but I do have, I have, I think, 10 in my, uh, 
If you want me to, to autograph half hour pencil power for you, uh, um, tell you I'll tell you what I'll make it easy for you. Order the order the drawing in thirty days book, and then in the comment section say, "Hey, exchange this for half hour pencil power." How's that? Is that easy enough? There, they're really easy. And plus, I'm out I'm out of stock of the drawing in thirty days, so. I've been asking people who, who order drawn in 30 days, hey, do you mind if I substitute this one? So just order drawn in 30 days and, I'll, and uh, make a note that you want that one, okay? All right. Uh, Bradley, wonderful. Uh, what else? I would love the half hour pencil or 30 days comment for exchange. Got it. Okay. Well, thanks, Matt. Matt the cat. You got, you're so cool. And uh, let me get this right. I got to get you straight. You're Harvard man, right? You're the Harvard cat. Is that right? Am I right? I'm glad there's a delay here. Here's Groovy Monkey. Hey, Groovy Monkey. Groovy. Uh, um, oh, goodness gracious. I love your first name. Yeah, so Matt, Matt's the, Matt the Harvard cat. And Groovy... Um, what is your first name, Groovy Monkey? Type your first name in there because I just loved how I wrote Groovy and then your first name in your book. The cat, they, the cat's out of the bag. Uh oh, was I not supposed to say anything about that? Oops. Oops. Uh, Gillian, Groovy Gillian. That's right. That's right. If you guys want to keep me to keep something secret, just tell me and I won't blab it. Well, I'll try not to. I'm I'm a, I'm a very much of a stream of conscious fellow here. Uh, Enola is my middle name. Hello, Enola. Matt, uh, Harvard Matt. That's just so cool. That's so cool. I went to I went to Harvard. I went there and I uh, no I went to MIT. I was in uh, no I did I visited Harvard. I went I visit like I mean I I went there just to say I went on Harvard. I stepped on the property of Harvard. Oh, yeah, I went to Harvard. But MIT, I'm not sure, was it Harvard or MIT that has that guy, that one statue where people rub it before their, their tests and finals? And so the the palm of his hand is all rubbed of the statue. Is that Harvard or MIT? I went there and I and I rubbed it. I took, you know, the hand. It's like good luck for all those college kids. So you're, you're so Harvard Matt, your wife works at MIT. You're not like the coolest, coolest couple on the whole Eastern Seaboard, are you? All right, here we go. We're gonna draw that. Uh, we are gonna do a drawing here. We are gonna do a drawing. I'm just here chattering. By the way, by the way, if you're looking, if anybody out there is looking for a great volunteer project, I am looking to build up my small elite dedicated volunteer tribe uh, with uh, if you got an hour a week or more of course but uh, you know an hour a week would be awesome and you want to volunteer to help me <clears throat> with my nonprofit spreading the spreading our project helping me uh, at um, uh, uh, get the uh, my visual arts program going in your local libraries and in local schools and in your local area Comic Con and your local art museums. I want to get I want to get my drawing uh, program just going uh, uh, gangbusters in 2023. I've been um, really uh, thinking a lot about this during the past two years, and uh, I want to get that get out to as many schools and libraries and art museums and, and uh, comic cons in person again i want to get out in the world and just get inspire more and more of the new generation so i'm looking for some volunteers to join my small little gr uh, group and uh matt the cat you want to help me with that oh my goodness all right well send me an email um John, that is John the Harvard statue. Okay, well, I bet I went there and I rubbed that thumb or his hand, uh, and and I can say that I I did that. Now this was years ago. I was actually, I think I was breaking the rules. I was rolled. This is when rollerblading was really big, and so I was rollerblading through Harvard. You know, quite the adventuresome. I mean, quite the rule breaker. 
Matt, well, if you want to join me, I would love to have you guys. It'd be it's be really great. Once in plus once we get the museum and the library and the uh, arts galleries and the schools and the local comic cons. Once we get that week of me coming out, of course I'm I'm, I'm going to want you, the volunteer, to to be with me. And so that that might take some more time for you to. I know you we're taking some time off if you can to come with me and to uh, be my local uh, host, you know, to, at these different venues. It, it's so much fun when I visit the, the uh, I love the art museums, doing, you know, get hundreds of families in the auditorium and we explore, we do a drawing, but we talk about where art lives and what all these artists on the walls, uh, all these art, this, even the contemporary modern art, even they, they still have to use one or more of these 12 words. And so I talk about the science of drawing, the 12 words of drawing. I talk about, you know, how uh, artists all over the world do use the drawing compass. They don't maybe call it the drawing compass, but they still use these drawing directions. And how everybody on the planet can draw a beautiful house like that. But I want to teach you, everybody, to have the choice to be able to draw a, a house in 3D. See that? I want, I want everybody can do that. It, no problem. You can win a Pictionary. It's a beautiful house. You're communicating. That's a house in 3D, right? That's the whole point of drawing. Well, not the whole point. That's one of the strong points of drawing is visual communication. The uh, what I want you to do, a not only be, have more joy and more fun with it, but I want you to be able to have that skill to make it 3D. Same with a donut, you know, a car tire or a donut, right? Flat to 3D. I hope that makes sense to you guys. That's my whole, that's my whole, uh, that's this book all in a nutshell. This entire book right here for 20 bucks, I just told you in 15 seconds what it was all about. So maybe it saved you 20 bucks. All right. So thank you uh, uh, for we got uh, for the volunteer. Anybody else? If you want to volunteer, let me know. I would just send me an email, and uh, I'll I'll give you guys I'll give you a call. We'll do a Zoom together, and I'll just explain the philosophy. It takes take me about half an hour, uh, maybe well, of course me right taking take two hours, but um, and then I'll send you the support material and explain it to you. It's basically a lot of emails, a lot of emails to people. All right, let's draw this package. Let's draw this package. No, I, this is my territory. I'm going to put this package way over this box here, see? Now I buried it, my sample. I was so so interested in showing you my drawings today. Did I show you that? Isn't that neat? <laughs> I got distracted again. Did I show you that? Do you love it? Do you love it? Isn't that neat drawing? Do you love it? Where's Where's my package drawing? Oh, no, this is crazy. There it is. There it is. All right. This is what I want to draw. This guy right here. See? So I'm going to put the package over here. I want to make this ribbon even longer. All right? All right. All right. You guys ready? Give me one through five. Five is you're ready, and one is no. No. You guys ready? One through five in the chat box. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. So I'm going to, over here, I'm going to put the, okay, I got to move this up. Because I can't have that microphone in my way. I'm going to put the package here and have the ribbon. So I'm going to put, I'll put this on the edge here. I'll put the dot here. And then look at this straight across here. I'll put a dot. Okay. Very light. This is a different way to put, draw a, a box. Put your finger in the middle. Now see right in the middle. I'm going to show you a different way to draw a foreshortened square. Put a dot above and below your finger. You see, this is another way to draw it. Bradley, I'm Bradley Maston. I'm glad you're ready. Uh, when's the next art auction? Um, so in, in January, I'll have a whole bunch of artwork. It'll be in January. I'll, I'm going to do one a month if that's, if you guys are interested. We'll do it once a month. Um, now, so watch to see this. Now I'm going to put a draw a four short and square. I'm going to draw a four short and square. See, I want to draw this. And I shouldn't be drawing dark. I drew it too dark and I know I'm going to end up erasing because I got, see that? I was talking. I'm going to be putting this fancy ribbon on top, so I, I need to be drawing really light. And so I'm going to go ahead. I know I'm going to have to erase this. So I'm going to go ahead and erase it, but I can still see that line. I can still see it. I knew I should have drawn. That's that's why I, I'm ADHD. You know, what, squirrel? 
very light. I'm going to block it in because I'm going to put all kinds of decorations on it. So there's our box. Drawing days at Christmas. Oh, by the way, see that up there, that code? Someone sent me an email saying that they've been trying to use that code for half off on my Draw 3D membership for ever since Black Friday. And they've tried half a dozen times, and and I just don't I don't understand. I went in there, the the code says it's working. Um, I I don't know. So if you have any, if you've been trying to get that fifty percent code for that membership, um, please let me know. It's half off, uh, and I want to make sure it's a great uh, last minute gift 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 for you guys. Now, now I'm gonna now down the side vertical. I'm going to draw a light because I'm going to put a lot more detail on this. See that? And then now coming across here, I'm going to I'm going to aim. This is called foreshortening. You see? See the ribbon? I'm going to tuck the ribbon underneath there. The ribbon's foreshortened. See that? Isn't that cool? I'm going to zoom that in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put a little bit of thickness on that ribbon. I'm going to put a little bit of thickness. I'm going to detail this in in just a second here. I'm going to detail this in, in just, I think I'll go ahead on this side. I think I'll go ahead and detail in that thickness of the ribbon. And it's coming down here. There's a little thickness here. See that? And I'll darken and look at this. I'm going to come down and kind of make it a little affected, that line. All right. So there's there's that ribbon. There's that side. Now, on this side, I'm going to put, I'm going to put this big, I want to put this big, uh, this big ribbon here. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to make this ribbon go up. And look, it's going to go way up. All right. Kind of went crazy on that. All right. So then I'll I'll draw the thickness of that ribbon. Let's come down here. Let it go way up and come down, come back down. Okay, that'll look cool. That's all right. Now, I'm going to erase. Remember, this was just positioning, so I'll erase those lines. And I always have a dusting brush handy here. See that? So now the fun part, see, when I draw this, the fun part is when I, I, I'd use the drawing direction compass. Remember I was talking about these lines here? Remember I was talking about those lines? And I just dropped my pencil. Good thing I have a whole bunch of other pencils here. Let's see if I can get it. So now see this the northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast. All right, so I'm going to use those. I'm going to take this. I'm going to use those. The same line. See these lines right here? I'm going to use that line right there and then this line. Now watch. See that line? There's. I'm going to draw that, this ribbon line, and I'm going to draw the thickness of the ribbon coming down. See? See the thickness it comes the thickness comes down here inside. I'll draw the inside of the ribbon. It looks like a, a taffy, right? Up here, I'm gonna draw this this ribbon. And then I'll draw the thickness. Now this is this is quite an optical illusion because I want to draw that ribbon. Now look at you can you can just barely see that thickness down here. You see that? That's this is a this is a really tough one. Because the thickness is almost exactly what this is right here. This is that. This is a really tough one right here. This is an optical illusion. Because how? See that? Now, now see this? Now right here, <coughs> this is just a jumble to to figure out. So you know what I do right here? Look at this. I put a bunch of like like the fancy grapes, and I'll put like a. I'll put a little ribbon of grape, like a little string of, of these little, um, not grapes, but you know, like the little, what am I thinking? Help me with the word, you guys. I'm, I'm having the little fancy, uh, then I'll put, uh, look at this. I'll put some of these just fancy ribbon wires. Are they wires? I'm having, uh, I'm having problems finding the right words here. Little decorations, right? And I'll put one down here. I think I'm going to have one over here. Coming out here. See this? I'll have this one coming down. And uh, confetti ribbon. Okay, that works. That works. Uh, this is more like these those little like plastic berries. You know, that 
some people decorate their packages, make it, so I just throw it in there. See, I cover up. It's like if I if I feel uncomfortable drawing a hand. When I was in high school, I always draw the hand holding something, or like uh, you know, in a pocket, or you know, in a tree, in a, a bunch of leaves. So I just did that. Look at that. this. This middle part confuses me. And so I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of time figuring out the exact science to it. So I just put a whole bunch of decorations. Ha! I just hit it. Isn't that funny? Hey, hi, Angie, Teresa Rogers. Hello. Good to see you. John Kim, 900%. All right. John Kim, you have been drawing with me for for uh, years and years and years. All right. Good to see you. Now, up here, I don't know if any of you guys heard, I was going to talk a little bit about it. If you're looking for a great project, a really, really fun project for the new year, 2023, and you want to join my very small, super creative, deeply disturbed group <laughs> of volunteers, um, I'm looking for, if you like, if you have an hour a week and you want to help me uh, promote my nonprofit of the uh, promoting the value of the visual arts and uh, family uh, family uh, workshops at art museums in your local area, uh, art museums and schools and comic cons and uh, art galleries. I just I, I want to come out in person to your area, and I want to I want to come out and visit a bunch of schools, and I want to um, do my my thing, do my programs to get the families and moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles and kids excited about their potential to be able to take what they have in their imagination and put it on paper. To me, drawing is the elixir of joy and creativity. And I think if everybody in the world was creative and knew how to draw, that it would be a much, much more, I really firmly believe that it'd be a much, much more peaceful place. That is my belief. Um, and also, it's just so incredibly fun to, to, to draw. All right, so there's our ribbon. Now, I did, I made a mistake, you guys. I was talking. I wanted to put the fancy ribbon coming up, so I'm going to have to erase again. So actually, I'm going to have this ribbon coming up and then coming back here. See, I'm going to have it going up and coming back. I'm going to have it line up. See this? So I'm gonna I'm gonna have this ribbon coming down, and then I'm gonna have a look at a small one right here. Look at this is gonna be crazy. Then I'm gonna have it going up. Okay, this is gonna be a really crazy ribbon. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna I know I'm gonna have to erase a whole bunch of this right here. Here I did. I just drew all this detail, and now I have to erase again. Oops. So I want to have it coming up. So I'm going to put the thickness up here, right? And then I'm going to erase right here, the corner. All right, so I'll do this dark. I'm going to darken this and I'm going to draw the ribbon. Are you guys with me? Come to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Anime Milwaukee, too, is in February. Well, Annie Teresa, send me an email. I would love... I love Milwaukee. I actually lived. I actually adopted my son Mario and my daughter Selena in Racine, Wisconsin. I lived in Racine for two years, and that was cold down there. That was cold. I would love to come up to Milwaukee. So, uh, oh, that would be wonderful. I used to do a lot of workshops at the Artisan Display there. Uh, up there in, I forgot the name of the city. There's a city right there. In fact, my good friend Tim Decker lives in Milwaukee. The, my Disney, uh, former Disney artist, and uh, he's a professor at uh, Chicago uh, School of Art. All right, Angie, Angie, send me an email, please. And then a subject line saying you would be interested in helping me um, Volunteering to help me with my nonprofit in Milwaukee. We'll, I'll give. We'll do a Zoom. I'll I'll tell you a little bit. I'm just 
I've been thinking about doing this really uh, focused for a couple years now. And this, I'm just starting it. This is my first night of of really talking about it. I'm excited about about harnessing uh, the you your you guys' uh, energy and your enthusiasm to uh, help me. Uh, get this, get the visual program, get the the drawing, get the art program going in your local area. I, man, I'd love it. All right, so send me an email, okay, Angie. Send me an email, and I will we'll we'll, we'll talk about getting it organized. All right, coming around here. All right, hooking around here. Do you guys love this? I'm going to draw this really fancy. I love it. Hooking up. So now I'm just going to, see, I'm putting the thickness, you see. This is going to be this crazy thickness here. And then it, it, this is going to look great once we put the shading. Wait, you just watch this. Watch what happens. The shading really pump, 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 pumps it out. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat this thick, this ribbon down. See, the angle doesn't match. It's okay. I'm going to kind of cheat these this thickness down here. See this, and then down here, look at this. This, this, the bottom of the ribbon's going up. See that? See the thickness? And then the shadow on the ground. See, see, I'm going to be putting a cool shadow. All right, hey, uh, Mark. My email is mark at markista dot com. By the way, hey, are you? Uh, what do you guys think? One through five. Five is you love it. Do you guys love it? Yeah. One through five. Five is you love it. All right. Now I'm going to finish this thickness. Finish this thickness, and then I'm gonna just now following those guidelines. Remember the drawing direction, the guidelines. See that following that angle. I'm gonna taper these down just a bit, and now we have to figure out how thick do we want this ribbon. I'm gonna make this ribbon that thick, so underneath here, underneath here. Look at that. I put the thickness of the ribbon. That's kind of a congruent line. That. Is something I try to avoid, but it's making more of a mess to do it. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna live with it, you guys. I'm gonna live with it. This is this is a congruent area here, but that's all right. That's all right. You can't. You know, look at this. This is a good good spot to say no stress. Look at this. Stress is on the bus. See that stress is on the bus. Say bye bye to stress. Beep 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 beep. No stress when you're drawing. No stress. You have a driver's license? Well, this is your drawing license. This is your license to make mistakes. It's okay. That's your license to make mistakes, okay? You have to flop to succeed. You got to strike out to succeed. That is probably one of the most important things I'm going to talk about tonight is giving yourself giving yourself permission. All right, take your finger. Hold up your finger. Say, yippee. Someone type in, yippee. Someone type in, yippee. Oh, Angie, that's funny. Yippee! Yippee! Can you tell I've been Zoom teaching with a uh, out school, and I actually did a, uh, a a school assembly. I actually did a virtual school assembly this week. Uh, it was just so much. Actually, I did three. I did three school assemblies: two on Tuesday and one on Wednesday. Um, I had so much fun virtual, but I tell you, I do miss. I do do miss the. Do coming live. I want to. I want to. Want to come to the schools and do live, and uh, it's just it's wonderful. I do a whole bunch of uh, programs every year through my nonprofits. So that's what I'm. I'm going to have my volunteers help me with, uh, with getting with the schools and all the different economic uh, ranges from the Title One schools up to the to the uh, other range of the the spectrum. Now watch this. See this. The uh, there's the ribbon. See this? I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna tuck it in here. See this? It comes out following that S curve. This almost looks like the front of Santa's sleigh, doesn't it? So then I'm gonna draw. Now I curve it up. You see, you move this end right here. See that that little part? In fact, on this one, look at this. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have that one go even more. See that? I'm not going to curve that up. I'm going to have. I'm going to really make that announce there. I draw, draw, draw. Oh, Angie remembers me doing. Hey, Fatima, 
Hi, Fatima. Fatima drew with me on our school today, and she's back again. She's uh, my high school student. Fatima's been drawing with me for many, many years. Okay, now this is this is going to get me tricky. What I want to do is I want to curve this, but see this this uh, see I I don't think because it's so thick. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to see much of that. There. See that? You barely see a little bit of that. Just a little. Just a hint. See this? Now, this is going to look great when we get the shadow in here. See? There you go. Oh, in here, you can see this. You can see a little of the edge. I don't think that you'd be able to see back here. No? It'd be too thick. All right. So, now, now we start shading this. All right. Oh, this is going to be great to shade. We're going to we're going to be shading the I'm going to dark first of all, I'll darken in these decorations. So, uh this is episode what episode is this guys? Someone let me know. What episode are we on? 57 or something like that. I'm going to continue these all through January, February, March. See if we can get up to episode 100. Um, I, I love the October ones because I love Halloween theme and I love episode 57. Okay. Thank you, John Kim. Episode 57. Not bad. Not bad, but we're going to, we'll get up to a hundred and then, and then we'll just see, maybe I'll keep going. <coughs> All right. So now I'm going to see, I'm just going to darken this end. See that? Darken this end. Love it, love it, love it. Now, hey, did um, one of you had sent me an email about having problems using that discount code to join my my Draw 3D membership at half off? And let me know. I just wanted to make sure that you guys uh, don't have any problems with that. That code does work. I hope it works. I was saying, I hope it works. And just to remind you what that membership is, the membership is at draw3.com family membership it has hundreds and hundreds of video lessons plus i go live of i go live every every tuesday night for turbo tuesday and i gotta find it look at this all my all my drawings are spread out there it is all right so i go live every tuesday night turbo tuesday on uh, it's a it's private zoom just for draw 3d families and I'm trying an experiment right now, uh, at least through uh, February, maybe into March. Um, Wondrous Wednesdays, live 6.30, Zoom, and Thursday, Throwback Thursday. So I don't know if, uh, um, if, if, if there's enough interest, I might carry that on. So I hope you guys take advantage of that code, last minute uh, gift giving, right? All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to shade up underneath here. And you can you can see the difference. Like I did this in a in a, a forty five minute lesson. You can tell. You see, with we we've been going on my lesson here for how long? What's the how many minutes? I'm trying to see. There is a. I know that there's a space space here. I can see how many minutes. I want to see here. Oh, there it is. Uh, forty three minutes so far. Wow. So I've, I've, I'm a chatter. Now, when I'm teaching, look at look what we covered. We did this in 45 minutes. We did this in 45 minutes during the, my, my classes. See, we did that in 45 minutes. So uh, just to show you, there there is a difference between yeah, these wonderful, fun, live social media. I'm much more uh, chit chatty, 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 chitty, chatty. With you guys and looking at the comments. Oh, thank you, Matt the Cat. Draw 3D. Hey, Matt the Cat, are you are do you do do you, do you come to my uh, lives, Matt the Cat? Yeah, Fatima did the dino. You did a great job today, Fatima, on the dinosaur drawing. You did a really uh, wonderful. Now look at I'm gonna I'm shading inside here. A little bit dark. I'm gonna darken this in just a bit. And then back here, now look, and I'm going to shade back here. 
and then I'm going to go up the side of the ribbon. You see that? You just take your time. I want to go up the side. Uh, Matt, oh, he just got your membership. Wonderful, Matt. Now, Matt, did you sign up for a monthly or did you take advantage of the one year coupon? I'm just curious. Now, I'm going to shade up underneath here. I twist and turn my paper. I'm going to shade it dark up here. Fatima, just so fun having you back in my classes. I'm going to put a little shadow inside here, a little bit darker on the base here. Uh, one year. Oh, yeah, you did the 50% off. So the coupon worked for you then, huh? I want to make sure we've been having some issues. Uh, making sure it works. Okay, now it's dark down. I'm going to get lighter as it goes up. See that? Dark down here. And lighter as it goes up. Do you like it? Oh, you're you're welcome. Oh, you that's right, Matt. Hey Matt, did you did you got that uh um you got the 75% discount, is that right? With the uh with the products you buy you buy products and I send you the 75% discount. Did you is that what you used? That's a good deal, huh? That is a good deal. You get uh $49 for a year instead of not, instead of 200. Um so that that's fun. When you buy like art prints and books and stuff, I send you a a uh, coupon sheet for seventy five percent off, and that's a limited time. That's until those until I run out of those coupons. I think I I must have twenty or more twenty or more in them. Thanks, Matt, for using the. I don't even know if if those that anybody actually was he was using those. So that's good. Thank you. All right, look at this. I'm, gonna, I'm leaving that ribbon white just as a contrast. Technically, I should shade it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that white there. It, isn't this fun? You're starting to punch out. See what I'm, see what we're doing? Isn't that fun? And then now the light, look at this. Here we are, alignment. Remember the drawing direction compass? The, the shadow. See this? I'm going to put that shadow on that, that same guideline. See that? I'm going to draw the shadow in that direction. All right. You love it? I like to make the shadow a little darker than this. And then look at this. Right right along here, I'm going to darken this in. Right, right along that ribbon. See that? Just these little nuances. See that? A little darker. Now I'm going to shade right here. See that? I'm going to put a little shadow. And then underneath this ribbon, I'll put a little dark shadow underneath there. Underneath that, this, uh, these little berries. I think I'll put a little shadow. See that? I, you can, I just love these little details. You see how that little bit of darkness just pops them out here? And I just go back in and noodle and doodle it. And uh, I'm thinking it should be pretty dark underneath here okay I love it now uh, this is a little funky right here that would need some work but I'm going to live with it no stress I'm going to live with it not 100% happy with that area but uh, I'm gonna, I can always go back and erase it and spend some more time on it But see, now the problem is that if I erase it, then it starts getting to be even more messy. It draws more attention to it. Uh, what a great Christmas present. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Adam, are you a first-time uh, viewer here tonight? Is this your first time watching me live? Adam, is this your first time? Adam Hainline. I don't. I haven't seen your name before. Have you come up before and made a comment before? And what, Adam? Where Where are you at? What city are you in? And what temperature is it? What city are you in? And what temperature are you in? 
Hey James, is this a is it are you a first time James are you a first time uh a first time watcher tonight? Fancy schmancy, that's right, it is a fancy, fancy present. I'm gonna shade this. The reason the reason I'm asking if you're a first time viewer, I wanna send a uh I'm going to pick a first-time viewer tonight, and I'm going to send you a, I'm going to send you a, uh, I'll send, I'm going to send a first-time viewer uh, a free copy of my You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book, and uh, that's why I was wondering if, uh, who, uh, now that was, um, I just love seeing the, I'm going to, I've got to scroll back here, Adam. Adam, it, let me know if you're a first-time viewer. I just wanted to thank you and maybe send you a, one of my books and a little autograph. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, watch this. I'm going to curve it around here. I am so excited about getting Angie and uh, Harvard uh, Matt the Cat helping me in my campaign 2023 to ignite the creativity and the imagination of the younger generation all over the country. It's going to be so awesome. All right. So now it looks like a taffy here. I'm going to shade down here. Inside there, it gets lighter. See that? Light, 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 light. Um, I'm using a, uh, uh, right here. I, what I'm using right here, what lead am I using right now? I am using a, um, uh, Pentel 209, PS 209 Pentel. It's an HB. It's an HB. And so I'm going to, I'm going to make it dark up underneath here and I get lighter as it comes down. And then a little bit, a little bit of shading down here, a little bit of shading underneath here, and then underneath here, and then in here, I'm going to put a lot of value in here. See that? Put a lot of shading. See that? Do you guys love it? Uh, 0 0.9 millimeter lead. That's right. 0 0.9 mil. Thank you, Fatima. 0.9. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to get it light as it comes down. Fancy, fancy, fancy. And I'll put a little bit more of the shading down here. And then I'll come down here, put a little bit of the shading. Inside that area. You see, and then I do a lot of that. Now, I'm going to put this. See that? Do you guys love it? Now, remember I'm talking about the, uh, the shadow on the ground. See, now the shadow. I'm going to do this shadow. Now, watch this. The shadow on the ground. I'm going to draw the shadow on the ground. I'm going to draw the shadow on the ground here. And it's going to come out. See this? I'm going to draw the shadow. Bit of a shadow. Now, what's throwing me off is I made this too dark. But I'm going to live with it here. Here, I want to try something. I'm going to see if I can erase just a bit here. I'm going to, so I'm going to see, take, I'm going to take my eraser. And just erase just a bit of that darkness. And see how that looks. I like that. I'm going to take my pencil. I wasn't, I was talking to you guys and I wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to erase. I want to lighten that up. 
that's just too dark for my contrast. So I'm going to take this. I wasn't paying attention. I was, you know, squirrel. I was talking to you cool folks. And I really didn't want to make that as dark. So I'll just have to redraw it. It's all right. So I'll take this. You know, make it lighter. See that? All right. So now, Michael Daniels. This is my first life. I always miss them. Have well, Michael Daniels. Uh, you, you get the free book tonight. You uh, send me an email, Mark at markkissler dot com, and I, your first time live, Michael Daniels. I'm going to send you. I want to send you a free book. Woohoo! Everybody, think everybody, congratulate Michael Daniels as I struggle with my ribbon, as I struggle to to fix my ribbon. See that? No stress. Just fix. You can erase it and fix it. All right. Then I'm gonna come around here. Look at this, I'm getting all nitpicky now. Oh, I got all quiet. I got all quiet. I'm gonna fix my ribbon and I'm almost done. I just I'm I just wanted to touch it up here. All right. Michael, you're welcome. Send me an email. Now you have to send me your shipping address. And um uh, so you send me your shipping address, and I'll mail you a, a, a thank you a copy of my new book. It's uh, you can draw in thirty seconds. I think you'll really like it, and uh, that's cool. There we go. There's our, there's our drawing tonight. Mark Kistler live. What episode was it, you guys? Mark Kistler live. Mark Kistler live. Uh, here it is, Christmas Eve Eve. I I I put a fun little Christmas story in my. E blast and my Facebook e blast episode 57 12 23 22 Christmas Eve Eve Merry Christmas all you guys happy Hanukkah on Sunday on Sunday I'm going to do a menorah I'm going to draw a menorah with melting candles with the nine candles my friend Robert Newstead my co creator and executive producer of the Imagination Station he'll be live with me on the phone. And he's going to talk a little bit about the meaning behind the menorah, uh, and uh, what it, what it means to, in their Jewish culture. And uh, I'm I'm excited. I never I never drawn a menorah before, but I draw candles. Well, there you guys go. Thank you so much for for being with me today. And uh, uh, where are you, the fellow? Look at I'm so tired that I. Uh, what, what is Michael? Who who got the drawing? The the free book was it Michael Daniels? Michael Daniels. I'm gonna write your name on the back here. Michael Daniels. Congratulations! Thanks for being a first time viewer. I'm gonna try to give away. I'll try to give away uh, um, something each night to my first time viewers. Thank you guys for drawing with me. I love you. Merry happy Merry Christmas Eve Eve. And then this is uh, there's two more days of. Uh, Two more days of Hanukkah, right? Sunday's the last day. So we're going to do the, we're going to draw the menorah on the last day of Hanukkah on Christmas day, Christmas night. All right. All right, guys. Thank you. Peace out. I thought Mario would come in, but he's sleeping.